Hello, everybody. Let me briefly introduce myself. I'm, uh, I'm Matteo. I'm a software engineer at Avanad. And uh, I'm going to show you today a simple web part we based on a real case scenario developed for uh, one of our customers. And so basically, we needed a way to uh, allow our users to provide feedbacks about uh, all the features and, uh, and about all the tools they find uh, in their SharePoint site. So uh, we developed a simple web part, a really simple web part that uh, renders uh, a button in a fixed position on the right side uh, of the page, as you can see here. And uh, when the button is clicked, it, uh, it brings up a panel that uh, shows up a form for a, for a generic feedback about the site. Uh, there is a text area and a five star rating uh, component. And of course, a button that sends uh, the data to the backend. For every other web part uh, within the page, uh, there is an accordion that contains uh, the form for, uh, for the related feedback. Now, the, the web part itself uh, is, uh, is quite simple. There's really nothing relevant to say about it. Um, what makes uh, this sample interesting from uh, our point of view is the way the panel is built, because there is no manual configuration at all. Um, the web part retrieves uh, all the content uh, from the page uh, directly from, uh, from the page itself. And this is done using uh, the, uh, the client side pages module of PMPJS that uh, allows us to work on client side pages with the find control function that mm, you can see that you can see here. We are able to find uh, and iterate over all the page layout controls that we found uh, within the page. Here you can see a snippet from uh, from the documentation, and uh, I will come back later to this when we when we see the code. This is a sample uh, of all the data retrieved uh, for a single web part that we found uh, on the pa on the page. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, useful information. There are info about uh, the web part position, the ID, the title, the description, and and so on. And this is our uh, is our actual implementation. Uh, we retrieve uh, all the content from the page. Uh, for each web part, we get the title and the order, which is basically the the position within the page. All the duplicates are uh, removed. We don't want to ask uh, feedback for uh, different instances of the same web part. And of course, the feedback web part itself is removed uh, from the list because uh, in this particular case, it, it doesn't make uh, sense to ask uh, feedback about the feedback feature. And let me show you a quick demo. Uh, this is my SharePoint site. This is my home page. And as you can see here, I've added some web parts uh, in the home page. There is the, new web, the news web parts, uh, the YouTube web part, some quick links, Yammer conversation, and uh, Bing Maps. And as you can see here, there is my, my little feedback button in, a, in this sticky position in the, on the right side of the page. If I open up the, the sidebar, I will find the, the generic feedback form. I can leave a comment here. Let's say, I love this site. I can rate it, let's say for star, and of course, send my feedback. And for uh, all the web parts that uh, I have added on the page, uh, there are all the all my accordions with all uh, with the form uh, for the related web part. Uh, as you can see, there is the the form for uh, for the feedback about news, the form for the feedback about uh, the YouTube web part, and so on. Now let's edit the page, and let's add uh, let's say the recent documents web part. Sorry for the typo. Here it is my new web part. Let's publish the page again. And this time, I, if I open my sidebar, uh, 
I can see my a new form for my newly added web part, which is indeed the, the recent documents. Of course, I can leave uh, a comment. Uh, I can rate it and I can set another feedback about my new section. In the same way, let's edit again the page. Let's remove the news web part, for instance. Publish the page again. And as you can see, the uh, the form related to the news web part is now gone because, of course, my web part is uh, is not on the page anymore. Um, let's jump quickly to the code. We saw before this function, which is our build feedback from from uh, from page. And what's happening here? We uh, basically we get the client the client side page using the page URL that we retrieve from the from the web part context. Then we iterate over all the page layout controls we found on the page. We create this uh, simple object which has only the in this case the title and the position of the web part, and we push it in uh, into into a list. Then we remove all the duplicates as we see before, and we remove the, the, the feedback web part uh, itself. And finally, we sort uh, the, this list, the, we sort these, uh, all, the, all the, um, the page layout controls we find by, by position in order to show uh, the feedback forms uh, in the same order uh, of the web part that the user found uh, in its own page. And the last, thing, the last thing I want to show you is the, the function that uh, actually send the feedback to, to the backend. And this is uh, what you will find in the, in the sample published on the sample solution gallery. And of course, this is just a sample. And, and uh, as you can see, uh, the only thing it does is to print the, the payload of the feedback to the, to the console. Of course, uh, um, you are. It, it's up to you what to do with the with the data you collect uh, from your users. You can save them to a SharePoint list. You can uh, send them to a database. You can log them to Azure Application Insight, and and so on. In this case, this function always returns a success. That is what uh, what the form show us uh, on SharePoint uh, with the, with the success message. And I think that's it. That's all. Thank you. Great stuff, Matteo. Thank you very much for coming on and, and sharing that with us. Uh, and obviously, the first time that, that you've uh, spoken on this call, I hope it's uh, the first of many uh, and that you've encouraged other people as well to, to take that step like we talked about at the beginning. If you want to come and talk on the call like Matteo's done, then uh, just send a request in and uh, and we can get you on. Uh, but great example. Uh, love that. I particularly love the console.log at the end. Uh, <laughs> did make me chuckle a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, leaving that open to, to everyone's uh, kind of imagination and you could take that further. Um, is, is this available as a sample or, or will it? Uh, Yes, it's available on the Microsoft Sample Solution Gallery and uh, on the um, PMPJS repository as a as a sample on the as a web part sample. Yes, perfect. Thank you. So if you if you've liked what you've seen, go go take a look at the samples gallery. Right. Thank you Thanks. very much.